so let's discuss the another topic that is the features of medieval period in india we have already studied about the different name by which the different country people call the indian subcontinent now here what were the main features means what were the di- different changes took place in the medieval period or what has given a medieval period to the india so under this medieval period in india was a quite eventful several changes took place in the socio culture and the political life now what is the socio culture socio culture means in a society what the customs rituals traditions that followed in a society by the people that is called socio culture and the political life it means related to the king politics government and their policies so let discuss in a brief and have a look about that the main features of the medieval period were the first struggle for the power between palas pratyekharas and rashkutas so let's discuss about the features of medieval period in india medieval period in india was actually quite even for because many changes took place in india in the field of socio culture and the political life socio culture means in the society their customs their religion their rituals traditions whatever the changes comes during that period that is called socio culture change and in political life it means about the king their rulers then their policies as well their administration and the different changes took place in the territories wars took place then what were the new rules and regulations come by come brought by the different new kings that will come into the political life now let discuss in brief about that so the first feature of medieval period is struggle for the powerful uh, the power between struggle for power between the three parties now who were the three party three parties these three parties were actually called as three parties because they were very powerful and they were basically fought for the most fertile plain that was a kanuj so these three powers were palas pratiharas and rashkutas we can see more properly here as you can see here the three powers pratiharas rashkutas and palas this is the place that is called kanuj for which actually they were fighting with each other or we can say the war took place for this region what was the reason behind that kanuj was actually has a very strategic position and perfect for to make a capital kanuj was covered by one side by the mountain and one side by the river and uh, it is it has a very fertile plain so that's why this region was perfect for the capital and here the revenue collection would be more this is the same area which was there during the time of the ancient period magadh and around the region behind it the next feature was emergence of several rajput kingdom in the north and western india to see it more clearly we'll go through the map as you can see here tomars chauhans gujarat pratiharas rashkutas hoslas chulas 
Pandyas in the south and Palas in east and these are there in north. These are the Rajput kingdoms which were developed or emerged during the medieval period. The another feature of a modern period was extensive clearance or clearing of land lead to the spread of agriculture and establishment of large settlement. What does it mean? It means during the medieval period as the population increased, the demand of places, food, resources were also increased and because of that reason the new places were fine to live, make the settlements. In the same form, in the same way, different towns were also formed. Many of the forests were cut and because of that Patches of land were cleared. A man was doing the agriculture here. Next feature is formation of the complex society and formation of complex societies with economic and the social differences. Now, what is the economical difference and the social differences? And what is a complex society? Complex societies in which many of the different type of the families, communities are living together. Economic difference means that there are the rich people also and the poor people also, as well as the middle class people were also. So this is create a difference in the economy. Their incomes are different. Social economy, it means there were the different social groups. Like we have read in our ancient time that the four Varnas were there, Kshatriyas, Brahmins, Vaishyas, as well as the Shudras. So here in the medieval period, the more differences were rose in between the uh, different uh, sections of the society and more caste were developed. Caste were already de there, but sub caste were also developed. So it makes the society more complex with the social differences. And with this social differences, the more discrimination policies were also promoted. People were discriminated between Shudras and the general people, and scheduled caste, scheduled tribe people were increased more at that time. Now, the next is arrival of Turks from the northwest and establish the Sultan period. Sultan uh, Delhi Sultanate. So here it's more uh, clear by seeing the map that how the Turks came and slowly they have covered the India part and later they have established the Sultan uh, Delhi Sultanate. The Sultan period is called by the uh, rule which is done by them that is called the Delhi Sultanate, established by the Sultans. Who came from the Turks. As you can see here, this is the Delhi Sultanate which was established. You can see only this part, this part, and this part is remain. Otherwise, the most of the Indian territories were under the Delhi 